Hi, beautiful Saggies. Good morning, everybody. Cheers. <laughs> I said, I've got to get my coffee. I'm doing a Saggy read. I can't do a Saggy read without my coffee. Mm. No, Spirit wants these ones, guys. Saggy, what's going on? For the beautiful Sagittarius, what are the messages for Sagittarius? What do you want to reveal today for Sag? Spirit, what about Sag? Huh? Individuality. Okay. You are individual Sag. There's only one Sag and you're it. You know how to be independent. Individual. Think for yourself. I can't say the same for uh, your past person though and I can't say the same for the karmic energy it's all about choices hmm. good or bad ooh 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 Movement forward, Saggy. Well, somebody made a bad choice. Deceit. That's what they chose. Something deceitful. Oh, well. Who has got a message for you? Hmm. Oh. Yes, they do. They've set their intentions to message you and move things forward with you. <clears throat> I'm also saying that this karmic energy has got their intentions set on Saj. You might receive a message from this individual. <laughs> And the message that you're going to hear is that all that glittered wasn't gold. Everything that they thought was going to be a good choice is not a good choice. And what they thought was a bad choice was actually the good choice, which is you, Sag. Hmm. The karmic energy was pretending to be of light, but they're of the dark. And this person now is listening. Uh-huh. Because they're trapped in a cage. They're trapped in their mind. They are trapped, period, or were. Wishing. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> What they thought was a wish come true was uh, forbidden. It's forbidden. Should have never have opened the door. They thought it was light. It's dark. And now they're wishing for you. They want to free themselves because where they're at is forbidden. This karmic energy has got their intention on you, Saj. It's forbidden. Big warning from the universe. The karmic energy tries to set their intentions towards Saj. It is forbidden. They're going to be a big... <laughs> Why? Because... They're having uh, visions of something has got really complicated over there. I'm just saying that they're having visions of beauty. Somebody is feeling invisible. <laughs> I don't think your person's paying attention to them. That's what I think. 
and there's chaos with the moon that simple the uh, <laughs> I don't know what they're doing whatever magic that they're doing or setting their intentions towards Sag they're creating their own chaos they're feeling invisible because they know that your person is dreaming of this beautiful moving wish fulfillment over here that's why the karmic is wild emotional <laughs> what they thought was wish fulfillment they were being disobedient they weren't listening they weren't paying attention and now they're in their emotions they're going through chaos they know where their wish fulfillment is but they were disobedient to spirit i'm just saying the karmic energy tries any funny stuff with Sag, it is forbidden that's the end of the story it was like there was a choice the first card out was about choices and in the choice card it is about choosing good or evil it is about purity and negativity something that was pure they were disobedient to did not see that they were going to the dark they went to the dark they went to a deceiver and now they're having visions and dreams about moving things forward with you to their wish fulfillment they're sitting at the wishing well wanting the message i think they are gonna I'm just saying, I don't know what's changing uh, with the universe. So, well, they could, that's communication. You know what? <laughs> they chose something that was forbidden. thinking it was of light and it was of dark dark energy deceitful energy guys they're fragmented all the magic that they have summoned gets fragmented it doesn't reach sag it is forbidden they are a forbidden person they never should have done what they did the karmic energy they were doing this magic summoning ill intent towards Sag. It's not working. Be confident. Somebody wants to speak a truth. They want success here. They were in denial before. And now it's to do with honesty. It is to do with speaking a truth. To the one who's single. Okay? I'm just saying. They never should have opened that door. Spirit's warning them. If they set any ill intentions toward the collective here, the Sagittarian collective, I can tell you right now, whatever they have summoned up they're living in denial because it is forbidden forbidden it will never reach Saj they know that your person is having visions of you they're probably dreaming of you they know it they sense it they're razor sharp Congratulations, Sag, you have success. Because you're deserving. 
Whoa, you are deserving savings. As you consistently save for your future, your future is saved. Do your future self a big favor as you continually set aside percent funds. This is part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus on your life purpose. So you're getting success here. And you're deserving of this. You are beloved child of God like everyone else. And you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus on your divine life purpose. Even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities, trust that God and the angels can see how amazingly you truly are. So you're getting blessed with some kind of finances because Spirit's telling you to put some aside, save for your future, and you're deserving of this. Success, wish fulfillment, honesty. Someone wants to speak a truth. I'm telling you right now, they're choosing the light. They went to the dark. They're choosing the light. And you're deserving of this because you stood in the light the whole time you were grounded loyal honest all these things well they were not and now it's almost as if the mm, declutter you'll feel better and more focused if you take time to clear away clutter from your living and workspace donate what you can to help others who may need your items be sure to keep your schedule uncluttered as well. Windfall of abundance. I can't make it up. An increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms. Some of them unexpected. Be open to receive. And know this is abundance comes to you to support your life purpose, your health, and charitable work. Visualize your abundance in all forms. God gave you such great inspiration, spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes a reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, healthful, positive, and filled with blessings, and that is what you're going to experience. Spirit is telling you you're going to be blessed. Put some aside. Give some to charity. It's like you're getting a windfall here, guys. Because you're deserving. Whoa. Wow. You can start working on your dream career part-time while keeping your other job to pay the bills. Soon your dream career will take flight and support you. So you're doing something new, guys, I'm just saying. Or in addition to what you're already doing. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, this is big. Sad. Mm. that was going to come up. The mirror. So it's like you're mirroring this person that you were dealing with or are dealing with or what, take it as it resonates. You're attracting all this abundance in and this person is busy with a karmic energy summoning up uh, ill intent towards Saj and spirit saying they're denied access it'll never reach you it's like they 
this person is having visions of you. This person is having dreams of you. It's like they instinctively know you're getting this windfall. You're getting these blessings. And it's like they've been denied. Because they went to the karmic. Stopped. No. They can't get it. Denied. Denied. Dragon Rider is here. Someone's coming in. With communication. Peace. Wanting peace. Wanting love. They love you. And they are going to express it. Because they're depressed. They went to a dark energy. And they're going right to express their love. And express their passion toward fire. Wisdom. They're going to express. The path, the, look, there are two dragons embracing here. They know what path they're supposed to be on. Oh, 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 something is transpiring. Nutrition and silence. So in silence, that is like it's only a matter of time before someone breaks the silence and time is running out. Spirit is saying that like sands through the hourglass or the days of our lives. <laughs> but time is running out for this person. They have to, um, it's only a matter of time. To this silence is broken. Because you are so like nutrition is here, healthy. This is a healthy environment. And where they are is all in the dark. Dismal, dingy. And look at how vi high vibing you are, Sag. All healthy, healthy environment. Look at this difference. It's only a matter of time, Spirit, saying time is running out. See? Look, they're all depressed, in the dark, and look how you're vibing. All in the green. The path. They're taking this path to express their love. I'm telling you right now. Merlin. That's the great manifester. <clears throat> okay. I'm picking up a couple different messages. I know Sagittarians are manifesting this beautiful future because Spirit is saying all this abundance, all of this windfall, all of these savings, moonlighting, all of this stuff is coming into fruition. Now, this person is going to come break the silence. They are going to say how they feel. They're trying to manifest you back in. And it's almost like someone is speaking to this person saying, Look, you better, time is running out. Courage to do so. Stop sleeping. Wake up, call can't just lay there dreaming about Saj. You better wake up. Get on that dragon and ride it over there. Get up your courage. Yeah. They're going to initiate something. Gratitude. 
peace. Oh, that's what they're doing, guys. And it's like time is running out. You might have been waiting. Oh, I don't know. Hoping. Seemed pretty grim. But time. <laughs> You're being gifted, Sag. They're feeling this loss. I, you know, companions is here. I'm saying they might go through a friend of a friend. The way what's Saggy up to, you know? Well, Saggy's getting all these gifts. Geez, Saggy's looking pretty good. They're looking healthy. They're looking beautiful. They're they're getting a lot of abundance. I don't know. They look pretty peaceful, calm, being grateful for all the gifts. Now they want to initiate coming home. And they want to express their love. Just saying. That's what they're doing. They are feeling the loss. The winter's dream is here. This is a gestation period. So that's almost like it's taken time. Like you could have brutally been waiting for this. When are they going to break the silence? Well, it's like giving birth. Skywriting, it's the fates. It's a sacred covenant, that's why. Something wants to be birthed. A beginner's mind. The authentic self, all the masks are falling off. It's like emerging like a brand new person. And the sky bridge is here, wondering if they can have a possibility for for a union here. Because until they do, they're being faced with obstacles, feeling the loss. Um, I'm talking about whether or not you take this person back is a personal choice but that's the intention here guys and it's like because it's a sacred covenant this is a sacred union it was a sacred contract that they broke i'm going to tell you right now they're going to get slammed with obstacles until they at minimum break the silence and offer you an apology at minimum but their intention is a union. Yep, they're going to initiate this crossing. They're coming in on the dragon, on their horse, riding in to initiate repairing that bridge, the broken bridge, hoping that they can ride across. You can see it's been broken, but they want to repair it. Because they've received a revelation. The spirit guides have been nattering at them and talking to them when they're asleep, bothering them on the job, bothering them when they're dormant, sleeping. It's like messages, messages, messages. Well, they've got a revelation. Reconciliation. And diving deep into it. <laughs> A 
Well, that's what Sagi is doing. Sagi is just, it's like, I just said that they can't go to work without messages being, they can't sleep without messages being uh, thrown at them. Even when they dive deep into their work, it's still like they can't escape these messages. That's what Sagi's been doing, manifesting, working hard, just working on all of this stuff. And I'm telling you, you're getting rewarded, Sag. They can't hide from these messages. Movement toward adventure, fortune's wheel, luck and right timing. Yep, change, change. Something has changed. These are two five cards, wanting a new beginning. Change, change. Well, things are changing for the better for Saj, but things have also been changing over here because they keep getting obstacles hitting a wall. It doesn't matter how hard they work, they keep hitting an obstacle. It doesn't matter what they try to manifest or achieve, they hit a brick wall. Same with the karmic energy. Whatever dirty, rotten intentions they set towards Sag, stopped, blocked. Why? Because it is a sacred covenant. It's a sacred contract. And the mirror is there. That was like, whatever you're getting, whatever uh, rewards you're getting, they instinctively know. And they're like, huh, look at my counterpart getting all these blessings. They disown themselves. They're moving out of stagnation and they're transmuting pain. And that's what Sagittarians did. They went through that stagnation. They went through that pain process. And they hauled their arses out of it. And that's why they're being blessed. This one is going through pain. Moving out of stagnation. They feel disowned because they're surrendering. Guys, they're surrendering. Because the universe is tormenting the crap out of them is what's happening. They can't sleep. They can't, it doesn't matter how, where they go, what they do to escape these messages. They keep getting bombarded with it from, their, from the universe. Blockage, blockage, can't escape these messages. They're getting visions. They are getting tormented in their sleep. They go to work. They can't, it's like they can't work hard enough. These messages, they can't get you off their brain. And that's their guides. Sag. All I know, beautiful Sagis, things are changing for Sag in a very abundant way. And we'll claim that. Just saying, they broke the contract, you're getting rewarded. Can't hide from spirit. You can dive deep, you can try to hide, but spirit knows exactly where you are. Feeling like a fool and is in pain now. See? Feeling disowned. They disowned themselves. That's what it says. The disowned self. Okay? Twin flame. First card out. Celebrating. Abundance. Solid. Home. Hello. And they're angry.
because you're being blessed. They're like angry at themselves, guys. Why they disown themselves. This ang They're angry for being a fool. For being stagnant. For disowning themselves because they keep hitting a brick wall and they are feeling this loss because they're the loser. You're the emerging out of here like the unicorn being blessed and gifted. Oh, well, they're feeling it. The emperor. Stalking you. Watching you. Oh. What is this? Loving you? You're the nurturer? No wonder they're missing this beautiful energy. Hmm. Oh, yes. They're going to fight for you. Just saying. They're watching you. And they're willing to fight. They instinctively know they're watching you because they're highly intuitive as well. And it's like they know they can't fight it anymore. Like I said, they have no defense. They cannot fight. They're going to reach out with a message. They might do it through a friend. But a friend could be watching you saying, Oh, look, Saji's doing this. Oh, well, Saji's looking pretty good over here. And it's like they instinctively know even it's like, oh, can we just be friends? Sag. Sacred contract. That's why. Spirit. Breaking the silence. To Sag. The balanced. Probably some of you were earth angels. Just saying. You had no ill intent. You were divinely guided here and you're following your destiny. That's why you're getting spiritual help, spiritual gifts, etc. It's a divine contract, a sacred contract. Of course, spirits involved. The angels are involved. Talking to this person, diamonds running out. You better make your move. Make your move. Stop being a little child, a little page. Get some balls here and take action. This is your happiness. You're getting blessed. You're getting your happy. And now they want, yeah. <laughs> well, well, well. This is the one that was a player. This is the one that had their choice of two. This is the one that involved a third party and broke your heart. But I can tell you now, they're the ones heartbroken. They're the ones that been juggled. And they're the ones that been dealing with a player. It's roles reversed. It's mirror. They know they have to come correct. And I think who they went to broke their heart. That's what I think. Yeah, because they're going through a tower. And now they're getting the picture about their soulmate. And it's like they're longing for you. Time waiting. You better step up your game, spirit, saying it's no time to wait. It's time to take action. Your time is running out. Ten pentacles. You're getting blessed, Saj. They want... Their wish fulfillment. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, well, they're getting their justice. Okay? For that third party. And they want reconciliation. They might say, you know, I want to just, can we just talk? Can we just be friends? Something like that. But their intention is commitment. They want to come home. 
that's their intention because they're getting karmic uh, justice delivered to them and their truth is they want to reunite but they're getting a tower with the third party things are changing oh 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 what is this going through drama ending something with the third party guys i'm just saying they're making a decision because it's too much drama going on and it's like they could be diving deep into a task which is trying to get their money back up again their focus is on the money but they can't hide from the universe even when they're busy working well that's because they're getting their karma and even they can't they can't work hard enough they can't keep up with the money because they keep hitting obstacles they can't get five bucks ahead without karma hitting their ass and it, they're being hit financially because that's what they understand i guess this is a sacred contract this was destined this is wish fulfillment they want to heal things yeah get encouraged to come back around spirit saying if their focus was coin that's where they're getting hit in the pocketbook the finance hold penny pinching mm. yeah they're sad they're feeling the loss for their indecision you know indecisiveness and now they look at this <laughs> look at this you're being blessed the single person being blessed new beginning this is the truth and they want to speak this truth i don't know some of you now might be indecisive well i'm being blessed i'm single abundant i really don't need this person but the truth would be nice it's going to be your call but they want to speak a truth this indecision well, they've just decided to speak a truth. Yeah, well, that indecision card don't look like this one. Looks like they decided. And Spirit's going to ride them until they do. And over here, you've been blessed. You have the Ten of Pentacles all on your own. That's what spirit's doing to you, Sag. You're the nine. Getting another blessing is ten of pentacles. You could do this alone. And trust me, this person is hermit. Feeling the loss. Depressed. They want to work on things and they want to communicate. Uh, that's as simple as it is honest communication that's why spirits driving them because they're going to keep getting hit with karma until they do they're likely going to want your forgiveness forgive them so you don't mess up your blessings even if you don't take them back but that's the plan here Oh yeah, they're feeling the loss. What they turn their nose up had they been rejected and heavily burdened. And it's like they were stagnant. But they're coming out of that. They're going to express themselves, okay? Why they were giving to two and had this other lover. But now they're going to express their love. And what a passionate new beginning and they are missing you and they're worried about their money they're, they know this is the past how loyal and stable and grounded you were but the energy they went to they met their match 
their focus was money. The karmic's fo focus was money. So now they're in fear of their money. Okay? And now they're remembering the past love. The passion. The love that was there. You're being blessed financially. And they're at a loss. Uh, they met their match. Spirit is saying their focus was money. And they figured they break this divine contract and go to a karmic energy uh, whose also focus was money. Well, that's where they're being hit. And they're in fear. Because they know they made the wrong choice. They're walking away. From that family situation. They're walking away from this situation. Okay? They were in another union. And want to offer and working on a plan how to manifest the Empress. There's jealousy here. I knew it. Because you're getting a lot of attention. And the karmic energy is jealous as hell of you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And all the magic that this shiny toy that they went to is doing with all this jealousy and sending magic darts out to you, scheming, plotting, and planning against you, get stopped because spirit's standing right in the middle. All the angels are like, it return to sender. Thank you. And then now they're in fear because all that plan, scheming, magic, backfired. And they know, the karmic knows that this person is in love with you. Yeah. They're in fear. They're taking the leap of faith toward love. They're in the boat alone, guys. Fast forward movement. Break up over there and are offering an apology. Because spirits won't let them rest until they do. Can't stop thinking about you, that's why. And that's why they're going to come speak a truth. Because it's returned to sender. All the pain that they cause, they're going through. It's the mirror. They know they hurt you. Now they're hurt. Now they're deceived. And the thinking man is there. Thinking of how to bring this all together. They've created all this distance. Okay? How do they bring it together? How do they start a new cycle? But that's their intent. They're going to get to the finish line, guys. Choice is yours. Just know you're being supremely blessed here. And Spirit is telling you, put a little money aside for your future, Sag. Help out a few people. Be charitable. You know, well, Sagis are anyway. No worries there. You were charitable all the way along. You were charitable to this person. You were innocent toward this person, had no ill intent toward this person. They just treated you like a pile of crap. Their sacred contract. Hell yeah, they broke it. That's why you're being blessed. So now they get it. They get it. They're leaving the karmic guys just saying, take care. <laughs> 